A couple days ago we talked about radicals and making sure you kind of deal with them uh, the right way. Um, we are going to look at them again a little bit more to make sure we understand kind of the, the gist here. Um, write down this problem. Say you've got a right triangle and the measurements of it are 1 and the square root of 3. Okay, that's a simplified. As you can get, and it asks you to give the hypotenuse, the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, you're, you're not going to find any radicals on the uh, dagger triple thing, so it's going to boil down to you actually having to do the uh, actual Pythagorean you know, math. So you start off by, Ariel, writing out the Pythagorean theorem, right? And then, I would at least do this. Nobody picks me up on this, but this always helps for me. A squared, it doesn't matter which one you call A, but we'll call 1. Take the square root of 3 squared. We don't know that. What is 1 squared? 1. What is the square root of 3 squared? The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is? Square root of 9, which is? Three. Three. Remember, you have double square roots. They just give you a whatever thing. And that equals c squared. So 4 equals c squared, which means c squared equals the square root of 4. And fortunately for you, the square root of 4 is 2. Do you know how easy that is? Piece of cake. One more. You're very excited about this. Let's say you've got this. Draw yourself a little grid. Let's draw it like this. If you have a, a rectangle whose coordinates are 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. This is fine. Did they get something wrong usually? No, you are just fine. 5, 3, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. Oh, I told them you could just write the first letter. Right. Right. Oh. Yeah. I should have said the postal abbreviation codes, shouldn't I? Would that have been better? Okay. Ah. Okay. And then the last one is 2, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you have this rectangle here. Here is where things get a little dicey. That is all you need to know to find the perimeter and the area of this shape. If I ask you to give me the perimeter and I ask you to give me the area of this, you can figure that out. How do you know the length of each side? Jacob? Uh, you count the spaces. And what is the length? What is the distance from here to here? Uh, is it two? It is not two. Three. It is not 3. Square root of 2. Uh, now you're guessing, <laughs> which doesn't work real well here. Calvin? You make a triangle yes. to find the hypotenuse. No easy way to do this. You are going to have to, because you have lines all over this place, you can make each side a right triangle. Just draw a line here, draw a line here. Here's your right triangle. You know what the two legs of the right triangle are, right? I know this triangle here from here to here is 2, and I know from here to here is 2, so I'm going to have to use my Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is what? 2 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared. Am I right with that? Am I right or am I right? So 4 plus 4 equals c squared, so 8 equals c squared, c equals square root of 8, and again, that's close to being right, except it can be simplified into square root of 8 is the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which is 2 square roots of 2. So this side right here is 2 times the square root of 2. This side right here, let's do this one. Again, you're going to have to 
make a right triangle from that side. Just come straight down here, straight across there. Here's my right triangle. What are the dimensions of that nice little right triangle? Well, it is 1, 2, 3 high by what? 1, 2, 3 wide. Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, 3 squared plus 3 squared, I tell you the right parentheses here, c squared. 9 plus 9 equals c squared, 18 equals c squared, c equals the square root of 18, ladies and gentlemen, which is? Simplify the square root of 18. Yeah, if you break down 18, it's the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. And there is a square root of 9, which is 3. So this side is 3 square roots of 2. Unfortunately, that's not even close to the answer yet because we still have to figure out what the perimeter and the area is. Let's do area first. Area equals length times width. Well, the length is what? 3 times the square root of 2. And the width is 2 times the square root of 2. What do you suppose the area is going to be? Lutz! You multiply the normal numbers together, you get the 6, right? What's the square root of 2 times the square root of 2? Just a normal 2. So then 6 times 2 is 12. So that area, the area of that is 12. If you count the square, that thing is 12 units squared. How about the perimeter? If you add up all the sides, you have 3 times the square root of 2. I'm oh, sorry. 3 squared of 2 plus 3 squared of 2 plus 2 squared of 2 plus 2 squared of 2. These are all adding. It's not multiplying. If I have 3 square roots of 2, I add 3 more square roots of 2 plus 2 more square roots of 2 plus 2 more square roots of 2. I'm going to end up with, Michael, how many square roots of 2 is that all together? Um, 10. 10. Yeah. This is adding, so you don't, I mean, you don't cross out things when you add. It's just 10 square roots of 2. That's your adding thing. And this is why, children, when you do your homework, you should do the big block paper, because this was one problem. That's why I don't give you all 30 of them. It's going to take a little while, but if you understand it, you look awful smart. Calvin Grazan. Um, I was a little more confused because, like, the two square root of two, I thought that was two times square root of two. It is. Okay. Just like 3x is 3 times x, but when you add 3x and 3x, you get 6x's. Now, if you think about it, and maybe this will help you, Calvin. 3 times the square root of 2. Calvin, if I have 3 times 5, what does that really mean? It really means it's the same as having 5 plus 5 plus 5, right? Multiplication is no more than addition, you know, multiple, multiple addition. So 3 times the square root of 2 is the same thing as the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2. And then if I add another 3 square roots of 2, I end up with another 3 square roots of 2. And if I add 2 more square roots of 2, and two more square roots of two. How many square roots of two am I getting all together there? Ten square roots of two. That was exciting, I thought. Shall we do one more or no? Very yellow question. You sure? Hundred percent? This is not easy stuff. But it's not hard. I mean it's 